Alright, so we're here at Maribel Caves. Uh, the driveway's closed for some reason, so we'll see if the uh, stuff is open here. But we're up a little bit north of Manitowoc on a uh, chilly day here in November, and uh, we'll see if we can find some mountain biking. So, found the trail. What's going on here? There we go. And uh, just went over that little log skinny there. Kind of fun. And we'll see what else they have. Dangerous these things are. <sighs> They're slippery, but they aren't horrible. Let's see what the landing's like. Hmm. Survivable. Why not? So dangerous in this. Oh man. Bike's okay, hopefully. Yikes. So shady in here. Okay, so we. Yeah, we skipped a bunch. Cool. So this is the trailhead, actually, it looks like. But you can't park here for some reason. I don't know. Kind of weird. Alright, this is the trailhead.
Camaro with all kids. You know what that's like. I've never been a fan of caves. Caves honestly kind of freak me out. They, uh, yeah, no, it's like roller coasters, caves. Anything that I don't have control over, if it's gonna kill me, like where it's not gonna be like just me being stupid and it's gonna kill me, I'm not a fan of. I don't know. So, uh, stick with the mountain biking. Stuff like that, where if I'm gonna kill myself, at least I'm gonna be the one responsible for killing myself. I feel like that's a way better plan. Yeah, so that's in Maribel Cave. Nice little ride. And as I was saying, it's uh, kind of reminds me of a teddy bitty tiny mini Copper Harbor. I've never been to everything at Copper Harbor by any means. I only spent one day there this summer, but uh, it's got some wooden features, some kind of, you know, North Shore-esque type stuff, some little jumps, and wooden berms, stuff like that, stuff that was honestly a little sketchy in the ice today, but overall, super fun time, so, uh, so yeah, I'd uh, recommend it. You know, short, like two miles, two, three miles, something like that. Um, so not an extensive trail system by any means, but it's easy to access. And uh, it's got enough features to, you know, make two or three laps interesting and hit all the features a few times. So here's a little pro tip for uh, mountain biking in cold weather. Get yourself a nice insulated cup, double insulated cup like this. Uh, this one happens to be a Yeti. Um, but, uh, it's super awesome. After you go for a cold morning ride, get back to your vehicle, and have some nice warm coffee sitting there waiting for you. I have this, uh, absolutely ginormous one, so I have enough coffee to drink on the way up to wherever I'm riding, and also have a nice warm drink. I'm going to wait back.